जी कैसे हैं आप सब लोग उम्मीद है खैरियत से होंगे तो आज मैं स्टार्ट करने जा रहा हूँ फार्माकोलॉजी की सीरीज एक अब नेक्स्ट जो होगा वो बेसिक की सीरीज़ होगी मिंटू से एक एक लेक्चर करके अपलोड होता रहेगा दुआ करें इन ताला सब कुछ ठीक हो तो आज हम मैं जो स्टार्ट करने जा रहा हूँ चीज़ दैट इज़ फार्माकोलॉजी ठीक है तो आज हम करेंगे फार्माकोलॉजी का इंट्रोडक्शन तो सबसे पहले फार्माकोलॉजी की डेफिनेशन व्हाट इज फार्माकोलॉजी तो फार्माकोलॉजी को हम कहते हैं कि इट इज़ द ब्रांच ऑफ मेडिकल साइंस दैट डील विद ड्रग इन्फ्लुएंस दैट डील विद ड्रग इन्फ्लुएंस इन बॉडी राइट The branch of medical science that deal with drug influence in our body is known as pharmacology, right? Second thing, what is drug, right? What is drug? So drug is over chemical substance. Drug is over chemical substance. which can make changes <clears throat> which can make changes in our body right so first definition is pharmacology pharmacology means drug influence in our body or you can say the study of drug in which we will study the drug influence in our body when you are taking a drug it will enter into your body and what it will do second we have drug drug is a chemical substance which can make changes in our body right remember one thing that it is a chemical substance next we have that pharmacology 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 branches of pharmacology pharmacology is mainly mainly divided into two subclasses one is known as basic pharmacology and second is clinical pharmacology basic pharmacology and clinical pharmacology what we have to study in basic pharmacology and what we have to study in clinical pharmacology we will discuss here in basic pharmacology we have to study two main things right first one is pharmacokinetics and second thing we have to study that is known as pharmacodynamics many students asking me about voice quality is not good i know voice quality is not good please uh, use the microphone uh, hand free for listening the le uh, lessons because i have no mic right now therefore as i will arrange it because i have no time to go somewhere so please manage in basic pharmacology we have we have to study two thing pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics in pharmacokinetics we have to study absorption of drug distribution of drug metabolization of drug and excretion of the drug so these things you have to study in pharmacokinetics so what will be the definition of pharmacokinetics means what body 
do with drug what body do with the drug and in pharmacodynamics you have to study about mode of action of the drugs mode of action site of action and mechanism of action pharmacology series this will be your second lecture will be on pharmacokinetics and third will be on pharmacodynamics and then we will move further system wise right so in basic pharmacology you have to study pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics but today i will not discuss this thing so remember one thing what will happen in pharmacokinetics you have to do experiments we have to do experiment of a new drug new drug we have to do experiments and that experiments will be on animals will be on animals to check the effect side effect absorption distribution mean to say in experiment you have to check the absorption of the drug distribution of the drug metabolization of the drug excretion of the drug how much effect the drug is producing how much side effect of the drug is producing we have to check all these things on the animals because it is a new drug directly you will not apply on the human beings right because you don't know any kind of side effect toxicity so you first you have to do experiment on the animals then second thing when this drug is almost safe then you have to do experiment on the uh, wait wait a minute you have to do experiment not only this thing you also mention this thing also where the drug have to go in the body where it will do its action how it will produce its action so all these things these experiments will be the combination of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics right when the drug will be almost safe then we will start clinical trials and that clinical trials will be on animals as well as human body right human body so when the drug will be almost safe here then we will start clinical trials on animal and especially on the human beings and when the drug will be fully safe then we will apply this drug in hospitals i hope you got the point so this is the difference between basic pharmacology and clinical pharmacology right then i am moving towards the drug here again <clears throat> a drug we can use for drug usage a drug you can use in three different ways right a drug we can use in three different ways number one for the treatment right for prophylaxis and for diagnosis right treatment we always do after the starting of disease right we always do treatment after the starting of disease prophylaxis we do before starting of disease 
before starting of disease and diagnose to predict the disease the patient is suffering by which disease right so here we have examples every example you can say that for example a patient is suffer with infection then you have to treat with antibiotics prophylaxis example i can give like vaccines before starting of disease we uh, we are giving vaccines and diagnosis diagnosis means to predict the disease the patient is suffering by which disease for example barium test right to find out the ulcer its size its place also you can say that uh, x rays but it is not will be here okay barium test is enough right so these these are the usage of drug a drug you can use in how many different ways right so here i have one more thing as i told you that drug is a chemical substance drug is a chemical substance so drug can produce two kind of effect a drug can produce two kind of effect one is wanted effect and second is unwanted right drug can produce two kind of effect one is wanted effect and second is unwanted effect so wanted effect means what you want from the drug what you want from the drug for example a patient came to you with for example pain right what you want you want to decrease the pain right so when you will give the drug to the patient and there will be no pain that will be wanted effect of the drug that the patient is recovered from the pain and unwanted effect means for example for example a patient is suffering with infection right and you are giving antibiotic you are giving antibiotic what will be the wanted effect that by using this antibiotic there will be decrease in infection or there will be cure from the infection but among it if there will be some other things appear in the body for example patient start suffering with diarrhea so it is due to this diarrhea is due to this antibiotic understand so that will be unwanted effect produced from the body and unwanted effect also known as side effect unwanted effect is also known as side effect one more important thing here i just like to discuss that toxicity 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 is due to overdose of the drug overdose is or you can say due to expire medicine expire medicine for example body for example patient body requirement is 100 mg per day right but if you are giving 200 mg per day mean to say there will be 100 mg will be extra in the patient's body so it is it is your overdose and it may lead to toxicity right right 